Hello and welcome back to more of The Last of Us Part 1, where last time... We, oh boy. We searched the University of Eastern Colorado for the Fireflies, eventually realized that they weren't there. Joel was stabbed or by being knocked off a, a, a shell or ledge, and, and his stomach was, his abdomen was penetrated. And we don't have time for comic books, Ellie. We really didn't have time for this. Pull the arms around to unblock the pass through the... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I wasn't aware that they gave you solutions to the puzzles without you even asking for them. See, I was just going to have a wander around. I was just going to roam the area while I explained what happened last time. But apparently the game got sick of me taking too long. So it's like, here, here's what you got to do. Thanks. I love that. That's God of War Ragnarok. Apparently... It's pervasive in a lot of Sony games. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, so, Joel got stabbed in the abdomen. He got, pissed, he got punctured by a little spiky thing. And then Ellie somehow managed to save his ass and get him out here in the, in the w w winter wonderland. We bumped into some guy called David and his crew, who apparently are, uh, were, is the group of hunters who were the, the people we ran into with at the university were the hunters that belonged to David's crew, and now we bumped into David's crew, and David is big mad that Joel and Ellie killed them, and now they're trying to kill us. So that, it's, um, been quite a wild ride so far, and I'm not quite sure how this is gonna play out. I don't know what the end game is here. We're just gonna see what happens. Also, I'm disappointingly out of, uh, here, take that. Honestly, I only did it because I can die and get a health reset because I have so little health right now. Yeah, that's that's fine by me. We 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 desperately needed a health reset. We're out of health kits, so that is that was all part of the plan. Now then, let's try again. This time we actually attempt to succeed instead of willingly doing something we know is stupid so that we can get a get a free health reset. All right, shotgun primed and at the ready. We'll still use the brick. Never mind the we don't have the brick anymore. You don't see anything. Go for a nice stealth kill. Can I hop over this? Sure can. You're deaf. I guess, it, I guess, it occurs to me, I, last time I mentioned how I, I pressed the same button that I used to grab people as, oh my lord, as Joel, but it didn't work as Ellie, which I guess, thinking about it more, it actually makes sense, because I don't know that Ellie being that she's like 14 years old, I don't know that she'd be able, she'd be physically able to grab these much, much bigger adults and, and, and do the same chokehold that Joel does to them. But that doesn't mean it's just never own ways of kicking their asses, as we just saw right there, but that, that probably explains why I wasn't able to do the same stealth grab that I can do with Joel. Hi there. Really? Could you be any more of a little bitch, if you tried, if it were your absolute goal? Could you try any harder? I'll take all that. Don't mind if I do. I think we're trying to make our way back to Joel, because we kind of ran for the hills and left him on the hospital, or on, on the little bed in the, in the, in the room. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure uh, how this is going to play out, but we'll see. I assume... We can use this to climb over the the gate. Nope, that ain't gonna happen. Thinking this way is a no-go. Is there... Oh, there's a hole in the roof. Or the hole in the wall, rather. Oh, there's also a hole right there. Okay, never mind. I was gonna use this dumpster to climb up there, which I probably am gonna do anyway because I want to see what's in here. But I also probably could have just... Probably could have just crawled through that little hole. Oh, can I craft myself a... Nope, still not enough to craft a health kit. But maybe I'll find more resources in here that... Oh, boop, boop. Something. Something promising. Some ammo. I'll take some ammo. All right. Where's the way out? Hopefully somewhere this way. Of course. I got her. No, you don't. You very much... Okay, maybe you do have me, actually. You might, you might have me. You might have me. Shiv. Nice work. Now where's your little friend? I know I saw another one. 
I know I saw another one. Oh, well. There he is. Ah, oh, finally, the shotgun actually did its job. Took him out in one shot. Is this a way out? Oh, wait a minute. That, my friend, looks like enough to craft it. Yes. Yes, healing kit. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Oh, stupid. Mash square! Oh. Relax! Keeping you alive here. But why? There you go. There you go. That's not good. Why do you want me alive if the rest of you, your team wants me dead? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I was memeing earlier when I was talking about how it, in The Walking Dead you run into the cannibals and the... I'm not eating anything you give me. I am not eating anything you f No, no. No. Ha, funny joke. That's a funny joke, pal. I know you're hungry. You've been out for quite some time. Another hilarious joke from the great David. It's deer. No, it's not. <laughs> no, no. With some human helping on the side? No. No, I, I promise. It's just the deer meat. Don't eat that. What? It's awfully quick to judgment. Considering you and your friend killed how many men? Okay. I don't, yeah, I don't know if you're aware of this, David. Your people were trying to kill us. You kill to survive. And so do we. We have to take care of our own, by any means necessary. So now what? You gonna chop me up into tiny pieces? <laughs> I'd rather not. Please tell me your name. You're so full of shit. On the contrary, I've been, uh, been quite honest with you. Now I think it's your turn. It's the only way I'm going to be able to convince the others. Convince them of what? That you can come around. You have heart. You're loyal. And you're special. Nope, that's just creepy. That's like... That's... Oh... <laughs> Yeah, that is good, good girl, Ellie. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, uh-oh, 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 all right. Maybe that backfired. But that was, I, that was, that made me exceedingly uncomfortable. Stupid little girl. Thankfully, Ellie used it to her advantage, used it as, or at least tried to use it to her advantage to kick his ass and get the keys. But, uh, I think I might finally have my, so, I, at first I, th okay, oh, oh, no. Tell them that... Ellie is the little girl that broke your fucking finger! How did you put it? Huh? Tiny pieces. See you in the morning, Ellie. I was wondering why David wanted Ellie alive. Ellie. When the rest of his crew wanted and wanted her dead. Now I think I might have my answer, and I kind of wish I didn't have it. That made me exceedingly uncomfortable. Ellie?
Oh, this will be good. This will be good. Yeah, good luck. Good, good luck. Good luck trying to convince me Joel is going to be able to magic his way into finding Ellie. And then once he finds her, managing to save her in the current his current state of affairs. Also, I guess the, I guess David's guys didn't swarm the house as soon as, I guess they were that distracted by Ellie. that They just didn't bother to stop on by. And don't have enough to craft a health kit. I don't quite believe, but I guess, I guess I shouldn't say anything until we actually see how this plays out. But if, if the end game here is Joel finds Ellie somewhere. Hey! Where'd she run off to? Didn't really run off anywhere. I mean, I guess she did run off, but she got captured by by David, and now is oh. He's over there. Shit. Okay. Oh, I get. I need to get away from the flamethrower. Gotta save that for any clickers we come into, or come across. Move it. Don't let him get you. Oh no 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 no. Oh. Wait, they're running? Where is she? They're running? This is unusual. I'm used to... Okay, never mind. Never mind. See, this is what I'm more used to. Everyone trying to brutally murder me. That's more like the state of affairs I've come to expect. The running away... That, that's, that, that's new. That's a new one. I'm not, not quite used to that, I gotta admit. Where'd they go now? You're making it very hard for me to kill you, but I mean, so long as you don't attack me, I guess we're I guess we're chill. I don't I don't need to kill you. I really don't. If you want to just leave me be, I'm happy to be on my way. I mean, except for the part where you kind of you know kidnapped a little girl and at least your 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 I can't speak for all of you, but your bosses might be planning some very horrifically awful things. Gotcha, asshole. Finish him off. Hold him still. Yeah, good luck with that. You recovered surprisingly quick. I, I don't I don't know how much time has passed between the incident and, and now, but even like, he was still struggling to get out of the house, but he's I guess the adrenaline is just surging through his veins and that's what's having him do this. You wait here. Okay. So that answers my question of how he's going to find her. So he's going to interrogate this guy. That answers one of my questions. I still question his current physical condition. I don't know no girl. <laughs> Fuck! Focus right here, right here. Now I'll pop your goddamn knee off. The girl. She's alive. She's David's newest pet. Don't, oh, please don't phrase it like that. Please do not phrase it like that. In the town! In the town! Now you're gonna mark it on the map. And it better be the same exact spot your buddy points to. Mark it. It's right there. You can verify it. Go ask him. Go on. I tell you, I ain't lying. I ain't. <laughs> Fuck you, man. He told you what you wanted. I ain't telling you shit. That's all right. I believe him. No, wait! Wakey, wakey. Come on. Let's go! Stop! Oh my god, no. I don't like- no, oh, uh, no, I don't like this. I'm infected! I'm infected! Really? So are you. Right there. Roll up my sleeve. Look at it! I'll play along. <laughs> What'd you say? Everything happens for a reason, right? What the hell is that? She would have turned by now. It can't be real. Looks pretty fucking real to me. 
Nice. Oh god, that's so gross. I did not think I would be this invested, but I'm like, actually on the edge of my seat. This is way more intense than I ever thought this, this game was gonna get. Alright, door, 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 door. Where now? Where, where, where we go now? Where do, Oh, I walked it's right into a dead end. Alright, great, that's cool. Alright, guess I'll die then. Guess I'll just commit big die. Why did I come in here again? Why did I come in here? Oh, can I go this way? Oh, I can move it, I can move it, I can move. Move this out of the way! Faster, 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 faster! Run! Run, run, run! I like... I very, much, I very much like the choice to cut back and forth between Joel and Ellie to keep the... That, that's a common way to make th something feel like it's happening a lot faster is to intercut between two different current ongoing storylines and it works really, really well here. Oh no. Uh, I just gotta run. I don't have any weapons except the shiv. I have no clue where I'm headed. Even more so than usual because we're in the middle of a snowstorm. So my, my visibility is even more impaired. Shiv! Okay. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of glad we're out of the... We're out of the the, the, the... the butcher house, or the slaughterhouse, as it were. Because... Out here, I can handle myself. Out here... This is this is familiar territory. Just shiving anyone who dares to come near me, like that. But in there, I was not sure. I was... I could not... Ooh, weapon, gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. I could not guarantee our survival while we were back in there. And I just hope Joel can get here soon enough. I am just fi I'm just completely firing blind with where I'm going. I have no clue. Ow, ow, ow. This game's melee combat is really, really dumb. I'm sorry, what is the shiv doing nothing to you? Is the shiv doing it I is uh, um You know, I feel like a normal person, if you attacked him with a shiv a bunch of times, they'd probably uh die or at least start bleeding out. Seems like a natural course of action, or result of that, I suppose, but I guess not. He's special. He's special. See, that did something. Are you just immune to shivs? Like, what the hell? Okay, finally. Oh no, more guns, more guns, more guns. Why do I keep picking all the worst directions to run to? Could not pick a, 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 the, if, if, if I were if I were actively trying, I don't know that I don't know that I could pick any worse directions than where I'm currently running to. I have no sense of, of geographical locations right now. I'm just I'm trying to I'm, I'm hoping that the, the the flames and the other and the light sources are uh, hoping are pointing me in the right the right way uh, up in the window because otherwise I don't know where where to head next. Please don't be any enemies in here. Think I'm good? This seems nice and peaceful. What a wonderfully peaceful, serene moment. When, when will it be ruined? Right there. There's my answer. There's my answer. Okay, I, if I, I may be easy to track, but you're easy to distract. That's all right. There's nowhere to go. You want out? Good heads, come get these keys. Seems like that'd be easy enough. I know you're not infected. <laughs> what? 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 No, I no, mm, I pushed I pushed triangle. I pushed triangle their game. I 100% pushed triangle their game. I Okay. I 1000% pushed triangle when it said knife. And it just told me to fuck off essentially. Love them when that happens. Okay, sure. Finally. Are you all immune to shivs? Okay, Joel, any day now. Any day now, Joel. Any day now, Joel. Any day now, Joel. 
Oh god, oh my god, oh my Jesus Christ. Oh sweet Jesus. Okay, let's get let's get away from the fire. How about we do that? How about we get away from the fire? As long as we're just gonna keep playing Ring Around the Rosie. Grab the bottle. Hi there. Take that. That didn't work. That that's that actually failed quite spectacularly. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. This is my chance. Yes! Yes! Gotcha! Oh my god! Oh okay. You know, you're surprisingly resistant to knives to being stabbed with a knife. Or a shiv, rather. Where am I now? What the- where the- where did I spawn now? The he where the hell am I now? This is somewhere- what the- Literally, where am I? Okay, you spawned me somewhere very different from where I was previously. You completely threw me off. And now David's over there, I guess. I expected to spawn back over here, like I did last time. Where is he? Okay, he's there. That's good. That's good. Which way are you going? Which way are you going, pal? Which way are you going? You stay turned around. That damn well better be enough to kill you. That's like, ver it's very dangerously close to some vital organs. Oh my god. Back to Joel now. Yeah, back to Joel, okay. Well, don't, don't stop moving. Don't stop. Go. Keep going. Run. Ignore the speed limit. Run like Sonic. Why does it say that he actually starts sprinting? Uh, ride like the wind, Bullseye. Alright, that didn't work. I guess it was only the first time that worked. Oh, okay. Alright, that's good. That means we're close. That means we're very, very close. Oh, that's a lot of them, though. That's a whole lot of them. Fortunately, I don't give a shit. I'm running. That's the wrong way. Uh, where am I going? This way, I think. I should have marked my path for how I got from point A to point B as Ellie. Oh, my God. I should have actually kept track of where the hell I was going. Th granted, shouldn't be that hard to find her, seeing as the building she's in is currently, you know, set ablaze. Oh, if we don't, there better be something really great in here. There better be something very much worthwhile inside this goddamn thing. Th this was not worth. This was not worth it. This was absolutely not. What the? What the hell? Okay. This was so many different levels of not worth it. Please reload faster. Good God. Uh. Oh wait, hold on. Um. T have a taste of your own medicine, pal. In the meantime. Let me heal real quick. Actually, I guess it was a good thing to come in here. Gives me a nice little choke point I can force. Gives me a safe spot to heal. Gives me a bunch of materials and ammo. And... Who's next? You're still alive, huh? What? Where? What? Why? Oh, right there, huh? Okay, alright, interesting. Oh, that... I thought I was gonna jump in right next to you. I guess not. I guess the wall's separated. Hi. Good riddance. I hate the melee combat in this game. It's literally just mashing square and hoping the game lets you win. There's no nuance to it at all. There's no optimal strategy. It's just mashing the button and hoping for the best. Hi. Good Christ. All right. Jump in here and get another. Get go. Get a heal going. Get a heal going. Get a heal going. Get a heal going. Thank you. All right. Just look for a giant building on fire. There's only probably only one building in this entire town that currently feels like it was visited by one of the fire Skylanders. Or a firebender. Or other fire related entities in fictional media that I can't think of right now because I'm too busy trying not to die at the hands of these pricks. Jesus. Why do you run? Stop running. Just That didn't look natural at all, but we'll we'll roll with it. That looked a little more natural. I really shouldn't even be bothering with these guys. I should just be focusing on getting to Ellie. Do I recognize this door? What is this? Why the hell is Ellie's stuff here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because Ellie was taken here? Oh, I don't. I didn't need to see this. I didn't need to see this. What? And of course, 
just to piss me off some more, you've lowered my walking speed so that I have to stay in that room for even longer. Great. Well, at least that means I'm probably on the right track. Hopefully that's what that means. Up, oh, yep, right there. There it is. There she is. That's how you find her. Follow the trail of fire. Do I have to- Oh, I have to crawl. Taking a page out of Halo 4's book, I see. Holding forward on the stick to slowly crawl towards your destination. Yeah, honestly, this could just be a cutscene. It would probably- Oh! I knew you had a heart. You know, it's okay to give up. Ain't no shame in it. I honestly might be out more on the edge of my seat if it was a cutscene than if I had to just slowly crawl in a straight line. You can try begging. Fuck you. You think you know me? Huh? Well, let me tell you something. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Grab it, grab it, come on, grab it, grab it! You want to see what someone's capable of? Oh my sweet G. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Fucking duck me. Okay. It's me. It's me. It's me. Look. Look. It's me. He tried to. Oh, baby girl. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. No, don't, don't show me, 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 don't show me. Okay, good, you're not gonna show me. You're just gonna show me the knife. I can let my imagination do the rest. Good God. You wanna see what someone's capable of? Well, there you go, that's what Ellie's capable of. You put, you put her back against the wall. It's gonna give her the back strength she needs to come out swinging. Did you hear me? No. What? Look. Hospital. This is where we get off. Well, let's go, kiddo. Okay, well, that was incredibly, and that was, that might be the peak of the game so far. That was incredible. I tell you, on a day like this, I just sit on my porch, pick away my six string. Yeah, you know, once we're done with this whole thing, I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. Yeah, I reckon you'd really like that. Oh, I do remember that. How do you keep getting so far behind me? The other thing I remember from the- or remember, the other thing I know about The Last of Us 2 is that there's a guitar playing mechanic. Pretty sure I pushed the triangle button. I guess my dialogue option is, has disappeared. <laughs> Yikes, yeah, so, on the one hand, you might say, a hey, bit of bit of overkill there, Ellie, but on the other hand, considering what, she, what he was about to do to her, and what he kept trying to do to her into her final moments, I kind of can't blame her for getting a little carried away in the heat of the moment. I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people, and... Everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door, there's no pilot. I try to use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. And right before we crash, I wake up. 
I've never been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. I still find the transitions between these sequences, like, the individual sequences themselves are great. And then you transition back to normal gameplay and exploration, and it just feels kind of jarring to so quickly go from one to the other. Also, there's the hospital. I think. Looks like a hospital. I've been... I've spent my fair share in hospitals throughout my life. For one reason or another. Maybe we cut through here, huh? Knock on wood. Thankfully, I haven't had to be hospitalized since, uh... 20... 16, I think 2016, 2016 was the last time I well, had to be hospitalized, but when I was, when I was a kid, it happened. I spent an, an unusual amount of time in and out of the hospital for various reasons, so I'm pretty, unfortunately, I'm somewhat accustomed to what hospitals look like. Ellie? Ellie? The ladder. Come on. Right. I will say, this one isn't quite as jarring as the last one. There is, this is a bit more sullen of a mood than, than it was after Henry and Sam died, but still. It's kind of throwing me for a, a loop. Oh, and in case you are curious, like, I don't, I don't want to cause any concern. The, my hospital, the hospitalization in 2016 was for an, a, 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 a one-off seizure. A couple of times before that, it was for pneumonia, and then when I was super, super young, when I was when I kept going in and out constantly, it was because of just liver disease that kept resurfacing. Oh my god! Uh, Ellie. Ellie. Did you kind of forget that I'm down here? It was in the answer was yes, so I'll uh, I'll head on up. You gotta see this. What is it? What the hell is it? It's a giraffe. It's a giraffe. Wait, wait, it's a giraffe. What, what the fuck? Why is there a giraffe here? What? Are you kidding me? Am my eyes playing tricks on me or did I just see a, a giraffe walking through? Am I going nuts? I- that was a giraffe that I saw, right? Oh my god. You see that? Shh, don't scare it. I won't, I won't. Why is there a giraffe here? It's alright. Come here, come here. Like how my initial reaction was just, oh, a giraffe. Like, that's totally normal. And then I processed what I said, and I was like, wait, what? Slow down, kiddo. <laughs> Come on. Hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. Wow. Get those things. Well, hot diggity dog. Everything you were hoping for? It's got its ups and downs, but you can't deny the view, though. Oh, I, I actually have control. I guess I can just kind of chill there for a bit if I wanted to, but, uh, we got a hospital to get to, Ellie. Then we'll then we'll see what uh what comes of this whole situation.
We don't have to do this. You know that, right? <sighs> What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Just be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. It can't be for nothing. If I haven't mentioned it before this point, because I remember I said earlier in the game that during Tess, Tess's death scene, Joel's facial expressions didn't seem to match up with the level of intensity that was going into... But there's no halfway with this. Once we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Okay? Well, I ain't leaving without you. So let's go wrap this up. That's sweet. Bowing to travel together to infinity and beyond to the ends of the earth. That's sweet. And it's believable, because like I said last time, it, t it takes a while for them to warm up to each other, so... Even though it took... It, it, it was... I was very apprehensive to really get emotionally attached to these guys, but... It was a gradual progression that felt natural and earned, and now I'm... Now I feel sucked in, but uh, what I was saying before, I mentioned earlier that during Tess's death scene, Joel's facial expressions didn't seem like they, they matched the level of intensity that Troy Baker was putting into the vocal performance, but since then it seems like the facial expressions have improved a lot, especially in that scene with Ellie, it's, uh, talking about how it can't be for nothing. A lot of nuance going into the animation today. I, I guess it's also, that's how the benefits of motion capture technology, but still, it's it's worthy of commendation. Hey, Joel, I got something for you. If it's a comic book or a pun, I'm gonna punch you. Here. Maria showed this to me, and I, uh, I stole it. I hope you don't mind. No matter how hard you try, I guess you can't escape your past. <laughs> Thank you. You're gonna turn out all right, kid. You're gonna turn out all right. As long as nothing catastrophic, catastrophic happens in the near future. We almost there? Uh, sort of. Or close asterisk. And hey, we haven't seen any clickers in a while. It's gonna be different. I just know it. What do you mean? They're gonna be there. The fireflies. Oh, they're gonna be there, all right. But uh, I don't know if that's what you. I don't know if that's what you want. Because unfortunately. I, I, I am, I haven't spoiled on the major, the, the ending of this game, I, I know what happens, so, I kind of know what's waiting for us when we get there, but I, and I'm just, I'm curious to see how it all plays out, honestly. Oh, why the fuck did I... <sighs> Why do I even bother to speak? Are, are we close enough to that point where I could just run for it? Like, I felt like I could just run for the hills. And we'd be alright. But I'll play along. I'll sneak past the stupid... No, I guess I can't sneak past you, but I can probably stealth kill you. I'm not taking any chances. We're gonna stealth shiv you. No chances we'll be taking here today. Nope. Yep. Just keep moving. Probably would have taken this section out of the game, honestly. We're, we're at a point right now where it feels like it would be all narrative driven. Just the, the final, the final push to the end. 
I, I would not have put the clickers in this specific section. This feels like a bit of a pace breaker. And not in a good way. But hey. Maybe this will be... At least hopefully... This will be the last time... That we encounter them throughout the game. That's the that's the hope. So that after this, we'll be... Forever done. You do not hear me. I don't... I don't understand this game. I do not understand this video game. It, it, it makes absolutely zero sense. It makes no sense at all. It's so goddamn frustrating. You'd think I'd be used to it, but I'm not. It still pisses me the hell off. Have a Molotov... Uh, excuse me, do I not have a... Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do I not have a thing? Take that. Thanks. Yeah, that's how flames work on water. Alright, I think we're in the clear. Except for you, but I can just... Oh my god, you're still on fire. Oh my god. Uh. Now what? Now- Oh! Oh! Uh, Alright, where's that flamethrower? Here it is. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've all been waiting for. Oh. Okay. I'm not- That doesn't look like what should have happened there. Cause- I wasn't- Alright. Whatever. Whatever. I mean, if it reset everyone's states to the point where they don't know we're here anymore, that's fine by me. Or unless- or maybe it's just a bloater? It might just be the bloater, okay. That's actually fine. That's a good checkpoint. It-, it Never mind, everyone else is here too. Alright, hold on. Uh, unless- Wait, there's- Are there- There's- There's fucking two of- No, fuck off. I'm not- I'm not dealing with this shit. We're running. I'm not de I'm not fighting two bloaters. You can actually fuck right off with that shit. We're just gonna run. We're just gonna run. I refuse to tolerate any more of this bullshit. If it were just the one, I might have been willing to stick it out, but two? Nah. No way. I'm- I'm done. I'm done. I'm at my wit's end with these guys. And you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I just went backwards, is what just happened there. I went completely the wrong direction. That is phenomenal. Yeah, you didn't move much at all, did you, pal? Oh my god, how many bloaters can there possibly be in this subway system? Or wherever the hell we are. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. I have to actually fuck off with this bullshit. I, I hate this so much. Alright, let's try the flamethrower again. Take more flamethrower. Yeah, see, that would've killed me. If I ran right into it, that absolutely would've killed me. But, you know. Oh, How to completely destroy the pacing of the final section of the game. Simple. Just add clickers and bloaters. Pl I swear to God, if Last of Us 2 has none of these, I will give the game a 10 out of 10. I will give Last of Us 2 a 10 out of 10 if there are no goddamn clickers. Or bloaters. I hate them that much. They're so, so goddamn bad. Complete garbage to fight. They're just massive, massive bullet sponges that absorb way too much damage. Even when you have a fucking flamethrower, which seems to not be doing a whole hell of a lot, to be perfectly honest with you. And it's just, it's just not fun. It's just not fun to deal with them. Even remotely. And I'm out of, oh no, I still have one more. I'll chuck one more in there for good measure. I'm just can I can I move, please? Thank you. I'm just so sick of dealing. And and it doesn't it doesn't help that they it's like sometimes they you can it, it makes sense for them to for them to put a clicker section in there, but this section no, absolutely not. As what we just went through, like as we're uh, rapidly approaching the end of the game, in a somber moment with Joel and Ella, you don't put a goddamn clicker bloater section in here. This is just... Oh, I'm so fucking sick of... Take them out of the game. Like, genuinely, just... Y you can... Nothing about the story would change if these guys weren't here. Literally nothing. 
Because you can still have the whole infected people thing and have it just be that people go nuts. Like the people that we fight, like the, the crazy runners that we fight against. You don't need these guys. You don't, you do not need them. You simply don't. They add nothing. They add nothing to the experience except to piss me the hell off. Is it finally dead? Nope. Miraculously, it's still alive. Even after all that, it's still not dead. How many shots is it going to take? Good Christ almighty. I hate these guys so much. There's still more. Oh. Really? Really? Like, just this, just these guys. Just keep these guys. Still don't put this section in here, but if you wanted to have infected creatures to fight against, just make them these guys. That's fine. That's all right. You can do that. Because then, then you still have, you still have the dichotomy of slower, uh, slower, more methodical combat against, against the hunters and the humans, and then you have the more fast-paced, aggressive combat against the, the, what, the, the, the runners. You don't need the clickers and the bloaters. You just don't need them. I don't know why they're here. They're not fun. And they don't make any goddamn sense because the stealth mechanic is actually broken for them. Am I alone in hate? Like, it's just, does the rest of the world love these things and I'm just the minority here? Does anyone actually, please, if you enjoy fighting the clickers, please let me know in the comments. I don't, I don't, I do not understand what, I don't know why they're here. They, they don't add anything to the experience. They, 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 or I guess they do, they just, what they add makes it worse. Oh, and then we're going underwater again. Do I need to find another stupid, no, because you can just walk along the left side. Right? Yeah, you can make that jump easy. I was afraid I was gonna have to search for another goddamn plank of wood for you. And be your Uber ride yet again. But don't think we need to do that this time. Oh, there's a ladder up there. Okay. Um I'm guessing I'm gonna have to swim underneath, get to the other side, and then climb up from over there to get the ladder down for Ellie. Alright, take a shot in the dark. I'm on the other side. Oh, All right, hold on. Here you go. One free ladder coming right up. All right, just stick to the edge. It's shallow over there. Let me do a test run to see if I can get to the end without needing to go underwater. The answer is it would seem that I cannot. Seeing that once again, I'm gonna need to do something to get Ellie across. What's up over here? Oh, there's ammo. Oh, freezing. What? How did you? I guess. Oh, never mind. Okay, this is shallow enough to where you can, you can just walk across. Never mind. Never mind. In your foot. Well, get that door open. Look out! Ellie! Are you okay? Yeah. It just surprised me. Man, I can't wait for those things to be wiped out. I right, get the door. By the way, can I just say how w utterly w bizarre it is to have the reload button be R2? Like, I have to use the adaptive trigger bullshit to pull the trigger halfway to reload instead of just having it be any other button, like any normal video game. Guess we can't reach that. Can I get over there myself? Hey, fish. Fish are friends, not food. Let's see what I can do without Ellie's assistance. Uh, probably not make that jump. Unless I can climb this. Nope, definitely can't climb that. Oh, is that a ladder? Did I... Nope, that is not a ladder. Thought that that would be a ladder, but clearly it's not. Oh, there's a room here. Maybe this will take me somewhere. Possibly. Or maybe it's just a dead end? Gotta be something 
worthwhile here. Guess there better be something worthwhile here. Is this just... Oh, wait. Get up, 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 up. Okay, I just barely made it. Just barely made it out of that in one piece. The hell is this? Not sure this was of any help to me at all, honestly. Something in here that I might have missed, maybe? Oh, I could probably climb up there, actually. That's something. And then this takes me into the other room, okay. This takes me to the other room, which might link back to where Ellie is. And I can probably drop the ladder from there if this, if this, if this goes where I think it's gonna go. Which... It turns out that it takes me... Where exactly? Oh, stupid Uber ride again. Hey, guess what, Ellie? For what I assume slash hope will be the last time, your Uber ride is here. Now you get up there, and you drop down that ladder for me. I got it right on the first try this time. How about that? Didn't need to readjust where the plank of wood was. Where the, where the raft or whatever was, was sitting. Any day now, Ellie. Thank you. Oh my! Damn ladder broke off the wall. Now what? I'll figure something out. Well, we could probably just lean it up against the wall, and then I can jump up the rest of the way. But. If that's not gonna work, then I'll just get up here with it. Yeah, I think it probably would be good enough. Yeah, that'd be close enough to where Ellie can help me out the rest of the way. But at least I can use it as a bridge. You know, these puzzle sequences aren't particularly complex enough to really warrant their existence. It really just anytime there's been a quote unquote puzzle, it's usually just involved moving ladders around from one place to the other. It really hasn't been anything particularly mind blowing. It's <sighs> I guess just when it comes to games like this, I'm not... I don't like when they arbitrarily try to shove in gameplay where it doesn't belong. Like, it's... A lot of people are very against games like this because they, they're they like, why didn't you just make a TV show or a movie? Whereas more some people are most, more prefer games like this because they prefer what, what video games... What the level of storytelling in video games can offer that other mediums can't, and they... Don't want to be bogged down by unnecessary gameplay additions or things like that. It's just, it's different types of games to different types of people. Some people will only play stuff like Phoenix Wright, Danganronpa, Zero Escape. Some people will stay away from those entirely and only focus on really gameplay-oriented stuff. But I like a mixture of both. There's certain games I enjoy only for the gameplay, some that I enjoy only for the story. Case in point, Phoenix Wright has very little in the way of proper traditional gameplay, but it has some of the greatest storytelling video game has video games have to offer. And that's fine. Because it knows what its strengths are. The Ace Attorney games know that or at least with with certain exceptions. The Ace Attorney games know that their strengths lie in the form of brilliant character writing and brilliant plot writing and mystery writing. Its strength doesn't lie in gameplay. So when you have something like for instance, Danganronpa that tries to fuse gameplay with the story and the, all the random dumbass minigames that you do during the class trials, it doesn't really work out all that well. And it's kind of the same thing here. It's like... Uh, and it, it's, it's also why, similarly, a game like Cuphead, it, it's, its story isn't anything... like it, it's, it, There's not much of a story there, but it doesn't... There doesn't need to be much of a story. There's enough. There's enough narrative context for you to want for you, for you to understand what's going on and have a motivation and a desire to want to keep going. But even if it had just the most bare bones plot imaginable, or sorry, like even if it had just like really no plot and it was just like here's a bunch of bosses, uh, go fight them. That would also be fine because the, again, it, the game knows its strengths. Studio MDHR knows that what people love about that game outside of its remarkably compelling art style is the fact that the gameplay is so endlessly addicting and fun. And it doesn't try to mask that with anything. It doesn't, it doesn't try to BS the player with anything else. So, I guess the point of this little random going on is that it's. I don't think it should be a binary thing of like, oh, you like 
games as such as Detroit Become Human, oh, you you don't play video games, you just play movies. Versus, oh, what, you like uh, games like Cuphead and Super Mario Galaxy 2? What, you don't want d deep, rich storytelling in your video games? It's like, how about we just... Rather than creating a false binary, we just have it so that the games play to their strengths and they play to what 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 the developers want to do and what makes them the best. And of course, I should also say, it's not impossible to have both. You can have something like Halo where you have incredible storytelling and incredibly addicting gameplay. But some games will know where, they're, where to place their priorities and they don't have to arbitrarily shove in one to try to shove, shove in one when the other doesn't... Okay, it's clearly something important is happening, so I'm just going to pause really quickly, because I, I get that I just talked over, like, a really intense action sequence right there, but I want to wrap up this little random going on really quickly. So, point being, it's not, I don't think it's a false, it, it's a false dichotomy to create where you, you only like this game or also like, or only like that type of game. You also don't have to, as a developer, you don't have to commit to only one or the other. But where I'm going with all this is that the, the strength of The Last of Us is clearly its story. Now, it's not a perfect story, as of as I've hopefully highlighted adequately enough up until this point. But it is still its strongest ass element, and the gameplay is there to justify why it's a game and to link the story together. So sometimes when you... And sometimes it's fun, some of the combat has been decently enjoyable, but then you get stuff like that ladder puzzle, and it's just it really just feels like it's slowing things down un unnecessarily in an attempt to justify why it's a video game. But you don't need to do that. It's not. I don't. I don't think you need to have that there just because you're like, well, it's a video game, so we got to have something here to make to keep the player occupied. And it's the same thing with stuff like quick time events. It's just there to because it's a video game. You got to have the player inter interact with the game to some degree. But I just, I don't, I think it's just all unnecessary, and that if you just focused in on the story, you would be totally fine, and you don't need the ladder puzzle stuff. Because there's other games I could play if I wanted that kind of experience, but, I don't know. I, I may, just, long story short, don't make, don't try to shove in gameplay just because you think you need to, when you, you clearly, your strengths and desires lie elsewhere. Get here! Come on, <laughs> Welcome to the Fireflies. Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. And Ellie? She's all right. They brought her back. <sighs> you came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. <clears throat> I lost most of my crew across in the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. Bah. Uh... A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. You you can't do that. Find someone else. There is no one else. Listen, you were gonna show me where. Stop. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me. Or even her. There is no other choice here. Uh, no, there are, there definitely are other choices. You, the, you are, this is not even kind of okay. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that bullshit.
March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Um, excuse me? Release this gift, Joe. Get up. Okay, we are going to need to have a chat about this. I said move. Give me an excuse. Which way? What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. <laughs> Where is the operating room? I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Top floor, the far end. I was gonna ask if no why nobody heard that, but it turns out they did. Okay. So, um... I don't know if this is the best time to discuss this, considering we're in a very precarious situation, but there's a lot of reasons why this is so far removed from the realm of being even remotely morally okay. Like, you don't... You don't perform... Okay, you really don't. You really don't. You really don't. You really don't hear this? I mean, I, I guess that's what I get for putting it on light difficulty, so I'm not gonna blame the game, but it's still just funny. That this guy didn't hear his friend slowly dying behind him, like, like, whatever. So, you don't perform neurosurgery on someone, especially a kid, like a 14-year-old kid. You don't do that without their permission. And, hi. You are completely oblivious. She didn't, Ellie could not have possibly given you her consent because she was, she was unconscious. We were literally performing CPR on her to try to save her life. Hi, uh... Oh, wow, we're going all out now. We're going guns blazing now. We are going all out in the final act of this game. Guns are blazing now. And yet you're still not dead? How many times do I have to shoot you with my assault rifle before you commit big die? Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Yeah, so, you need, like... You, you need to ask your permission first. There, there, there is no rush. The world's already been the way that it is for quite some time. You are in, there, there is no immediate concern that, like, you need to perform quickly or else. You have all the time in the world. You can wait for her to wake up and then ask her permission. And, and if, you, you might, I guess you might say, well, Marlene gave permission and she's, like, a mother figure to her or whatever. It's like, okay, yeah, so, uh, one, I, I guess you, I guess then the, the appeal would be to, like, legally, the parent gives permission on behalf of, of the kid. But, one, that usually would only apply in a situation where the, the kid is, like, not gonna wake up again. And you, you have no choice. Like, the, the kid is unable, to, literally incapable of, of weighing in on the matter because they're not gonna... They're, they're in a comatose state where they can't wake up, or at least it's unlikely for them to wake up anytime soon. How many bullets does it take to kill you on light difficulty? Are you kidding me? What the... I don't understand this game. I don't. I don't understand this game's gameplay. And so it's like that wouldn't even apply. And that's assuming that laws even apply. But we are currently in a lawless world. I don't know that that's what you're going to appeal to. I'd rather appeal to the moral of don't operate in a child without the child's per consent. Also, as far as mother figure, didn't she say like she's not mine when we first met her? And Joel was like, "You recruit them young nowadays." Did that not- was that not dialogue that happened? Did I imagine that? I feel like I might have imagined that. But, yeah, so that, there's that. And just- regardless, you still ask- even if all that was true, you still ask her for permission. You, like, you don't just- the, the, I, I, I cannot fathom why you would do that. 
or, or, or like you, you still ask Ellie for, for permission. There's there's no there's no two ways around that. You just also uh I don't have enough to craft a health kit. This is concerning. This is highly concerning actually. Okay, Jesus Christ. Clearly the reason why they didn't ask her is because they were afraid she was gonna say no. So they're just like, well, I guess we'll just do it anyway. Cause who cares? This is so far beyond the realm of morally not okay. Oh, I still have my flamethrower? Oh, I still have my flamethrower. Well, in that case, uh, I got some bad news for you guys. Take that. Why does the flame- Why does the flamethrower suck so much ass? Why did- I'm- I'm very close to turning the difficulty down to very light. I am very close to giving up on this and just turning the difficulty down to the lowest. I can't- I'm so far done. I'm so sick of this. Oh, and by the way, I want to make it clear that when I talk about how it's not okay for the Fire Blast to do this, I'm not saying that that's a criticism of the game. In fact, because, it, like, it's clear that the, the game is presenting the Fireflies as the bad guys here. Like, they're gonna operate, they're gonna perform neurosurgery, neurosurgery, on a 14-year-old kid without her consent. So, yeah, it, it, the, the game is aware that what they're doing is, is not cool. Or what, that what the Fireflies are doing is not cool. I didn't even get, I love not even getting a chance to shoot you, that's great. I love that. I'm simply, I'm simply breaking down why this is just morally reprehensible what the Fireflies are doing. I'm, that's it, I'm turning the difficulty down, I can't take this shit. I'm, I'm so fucking sick of dealing with this game's bullshit. I, I can't fathom having a game where you unload an assault rifle into a regular ass human and they don't die from that entire clip that you've just unloaded into them. I can't fathom that. And calling that light difficulty. Actually absurd. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, I'm not labeling this as a criticism of the game. In fact, I think it might actually be to the game's benefit that the Fireflies are making the choice that they do because it, it kind of ex it helps explain a question I had. Because earlier I was I was really contemplating uh, you, you, the whole conversation I had about how I don't believe that that you could realistically first off that you could actually manufacture the vaccine based on just her. Like you need there's no way that you're gonna get me to believe that the Fireflies could ever create a stable vaccine from just Ellie as the only subject that they have to work with. So, what makes a lot more sense is if their their intention was never to make a stable functioning vaccine, and they only wanted to use this as probably a power play, because obviously what's going on with the current conflict in this, the, the, as I said, the main conflict in this universe is coming from, I don't fuck. Very light difficulty, by the way. Very light difficulty. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run and blast them all. I don't care. I don't care about th this. Is just this is just not fun. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get to the end of this game. I'm very excited to watch the show so that I can experience the story without dealing with the game's utter bullshit. Light, very light difficulty. Still takes two shotgun blasts to kill someone. This is absurd. I'd love to have a chat about the story of this game. Unfortunately, I'm too busy wanting to pull my goddamn hair out. That's how stupid this is. So where was I? I don't even know anymore. The Fireflies, I thought they wanted to do good with the vaccine and actually make it. And, like, I, th I thought they actually wanted to make a functioning vaccine. To which I was like, but I don't know that you're going to be able to do that with just Ellie. That seems like a massive leap in logic. And turns out that's... God. I didn't believe that they would logistically be able to to actually make the the vaccine when Ellie was their only subject. I also don't believe they, they would have the resources to actually distribute the vaccine effectively and efficiently. And I don't believe that creating the vaccine would actually solve really anything in the grand scheme of the, like obviously as I keep saying, obviously it would allow people to protect themselves against the virus that infects people, but th it's that's not the concern at the moment. The, the time the time at which for which that would be most relevant has long since passed us by. There are way bigger issues that creating the vaccine simply will not solve. So putting all that together would have made me question the fireflies as the the, the like the end game of, of this whole adventure we've been going on. Now that I know that it, it was all bullshit, or now that I know that their plan is to uh, like operate on Ellie without her consent, now it's like, ah, I understand now. You're not the good guys of this story. You're the bad guys of this story. And that's that's why you're going to do, even though 
even even though all signs point to this will not work you're still going to do this because that that's your intent is to use it as a bargaining chip or maybe not, I, I don't want to read into the motivations because i don't know what they want to use it for. but clearly what they want to do clearly their intentions are not knowable in actually like they, their, their intentions with this vaccine are not in, in any way shape or form knowable they, they don't want to do this for the good of humanity despite what they may spout to you so now now suddenly the, the, the game is actually holding together better than i thought it would because i was previously going to criticize everything to do with this vaccine situation and how i don't think it was like i, I don't know how essential ellie really is to to saving humanity and now that i have the full full understanding of what's happening here i'm like oh that's because she's not and the game isn't pretending like she is now i get it now it makes perfect sense to me so hopefully that was a, that was a coherent thought process while i was busy struggling not to jump into a bathtub with a toaster this is how little fun i'm having right now i'm very ready to uh stop playing this game really you're point blank range point blank range with a shotgun and it doesn't do anything just kill me just actually kill me literally just kill me i don't fucking care it, this is so fucking bullshit very light difficulty by the way very light difficulty every single difficulty option feels exactly the same it, uh, it all feels exactly the goddamn same the only thing that seems to change is how quickly they notice you, like, for stealth purposes. The damage they do and how much damage they take doesn't seem to change literally at all. How many shots does it fucking take? Maybe it would help if the aiming mechanics weren't complete garbage as well. Maybe that would be of some assistance here. Maybe it would help if reloading wasn't incredibly cumbersome and if switching weapons wasn't incredibly cumbersome. Maybe, you know, it's almost like there's some sort of benefit to outside of just making logical sense to why you can only carry two weapons in certain shooting video games. Maybe. Maybe there's some semblance of reasoning why that's the case. So that you aren't dealing with switching back and forth constantly in the heat of combat. Or that if, it, if you do have multiple weapons in games, when you are given the option to switch between them, the game freezes. You know, just some food for thought. I think that's all I wanted to talk about in regards to the whole situation with the fireflies, though. I think that's everything. I think I, think I got said all I wanted to say. Basically, long story short, I had concerns as to the logistics. Like, I, I, if the ending of this... Is, so, I mean, well, I, I say that as if I, I... I knew... So, at this point, I think it's safe to say. The thing I knew about this game is that I knew that... The, that Joel, that when they, Joel and Ellie eventually got to the Fireflies, that Joel would end up killing all the Fireflies and going to, uh, just so, so he can rescue Ellie. Now, what are you doing in here? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. No! <laughs> Harry, shut the hell up! Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't know what the circumstances were, so I, I knew that when Joel and Ellie got here, that Joel would end up killing all the Fireflies to rescue Ellie and leave. But I did not know what the circumstances surrounding them were. Like, I, I didn't know what the Fireflies' plan was. I didn't know if he found out the Fireflies were going to do something to, to her, so he saved her. I didn't know if Joel was like, even if she saves the world, I don't care because I'm not going to lose another child. I didn't, I, I didn't know what to expect. But now, so... I, I did know that going in, but I, that's kind of why I was speculating about the the logistics and the practicality of actually creating a functioning virus and then distributing that to the world. So now that I have all the context, I'm like, oh, this makes complete sense. This is all following following completely logically. Joel, Joel would do it. It's in character for Joel to do this, and it's the correct decision to make. Because, like, even even if miraculously... Like, let's, let's assume the fire... Let's, let's say... That, that miraculously the Fireflies were actually going to use this for, for the greater good and that they managed to create a functioning vaccine out of this. You still don't do it without Ellie's permission. 
you just, you don't do that. That's not okay. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't- She can hold her own. First. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. You do not get to speak for her. You don't, that, no. You don't get to speak to her, speak for her on that. No, I don't, actually. Look, no one can know that except for her. You can still do the right thing here. And you clearly know that, too, because if you actually want it, if you actually believe that, like, so, if, if, the, okay, if the rationale here is, that's what Ellie would want, you know it's what Ellie would want, as if it's just implicitly obvious, here's my response. Okay, then ask her anyway, if you are so confident that she's, that she's going to say, kill me, I'll save the world, I'll be a hero, then ask her anyway. If that's, if, if that's not a concern to you, then you should have had no problems asking her, right? Oh, wait, you didn't do that. Why didn't you do that? Because you're afraid she'll say no. That's why. Jesus. Wait! Let me go! Please. You just come after her. Yeah, after what you were gonna do to her, I'm not- I'm not sure that you were in any position to be making demands. Should be a straight shot through here. All right. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. All right. Now watch your head going through. Oh, and something else I forgot to mention. Got it. Before we got to the hospital, Ellie was saying, after this is over, I'll go wherever you want to go. So clearly she didn't intend to, like, she didn't expect to die there. She didn't go there ready to die at that hospital. So you have even less of a reason to say that this is what she would have wanted. I think the two of you would have been, would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked. And again, I'm using an aggressive tone of voice. I want to make it clear. I'm not criticizing the game. I'm, I'm explaining why I'm, I'm, as if I'm in the game, I'm talking about how the Fireflies are shit. And they're horrifically bad people. Who are going to murder a 14-year-old child a little bit further now. for something that, prac like, scientifically speaking, there's no way this ever could have gone down. The, pra the, I've already gone, I've already gone over it all. All the, all the convoluted reasons that this would not have been the, the golden sense to save humanity. That they want you to think it would have been. 
Here, I got you. Give me your hand. All right, come on. Hey, wait. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. <laughs> Would you like to play some DLC? We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. Oh, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear though. to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. So that's an interesting delivery of the line. That might be me reading too much into it, but that to me seems like Ellie knows that something, like, okay, so, you, like, I think Ellie knows something's up. Like, you'd, you'd have to be irredeemably stupid to not suspect something is amiss. When you wake, like, you wake up in the back of Joel's car, still dressed in your hospital gown. And, <clears throat> and he's like, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, no, everything's totally normal. Like, you, Ellie's not stupid. She's quite smart, actually. She, there's no way she fell for that at all. So, what that communicates to me is that she's perfectly aware. She may not know exactly what happened at the hospital, but she knows something happened. And that Joel, being the, per, the person endlessly committed to protecting her that he is did whatever he did in her best interests and he got her out of there alive and that's why at the end she's like the, the way she said okay makes it seem like seems like she's saying i know you're not telling me the full truth but i believe you had a good reason for it so okay i'm fine i'm i'm okay with how things have turned out and that's the fact that i'm able to get that much out of that that delivery speaks to the, the speaks to the writing because of because of how everything was set up it speaks to the acting because of how troy baker and ashley johnson just killed these roles and the level of nuance in her facial expressions which is i assume a combination of both the animators and the motion capture department just ex exemplary stuff and uh that's the last of us part one okay i like that a lot that was that was that was great that, I mean, okay, so I got very frustrated towards the end because the, this, the game, the gameplay of this, of this video game is nightmare inducing. Okay, I get, let's, let's just, let's talk about the gameplay first and foremost before anything else because I feel like it's most, I, I want to start negative and end positive here. So, gameplay wise, let's get the obvious thing out of the way first. The clickers are terrible. The clickers suck so much ass. I don't want to waste your time. You've heard me sing to the ends of the earth how much I hate them. But if I you want to give me a if you want me to give you a quick recap, um, the the stealth for the clickers is actually broken. It, it just does not work when you try to you try to not make a noise. You'll literally be stationary, 
meaning that they shouldn't be able to see you because they have no sense of sight. They can only hear you, and they there's nothing. To, there's no noise you could possibly be making that would allow them to hear you. If they hear you anyway, which makes the stealth section completely worthless. The, the clickers and bloaters absorb way too much damage, despite the fact that I was playing on light difficulty, which just speaks to either horrific difficulty balancing or a lack of, of, of difficulty balancing, and that they just didn't change anything and it's all a placebo effect. I don't know. The the melee system is really bad. It's literally just mashing the square button and hoping that the game lets you win, essentially. Because, like, I didn't do anything different for any of the melee encounters. Anytime I went to go punch someone to death, I literally just smashed square until I won or I lost. And it was entirely up to the game whether the enemy countered me or they didn't. Seemingly no distinction between wh whether wh wh when one of those happened over the other. And then, uh... What else? Oh yeah, aiming is clunky as hell. That na navigating the UI is also clunky. Like so, if you want to have a system where you have a, a bunch of weapons at your disposal, like Ratchet and Clank does, or or like or in the World of Wisps, where you have your your wheel of abilities you can sw swap between in the middle of battle, make it so that when I open up that menu, it freezes the game. Because trying to do that in the heat of combat is really cumbersome and not at all. It's kind of like actually switching the equipment switcher in the Hill of Now that's not as I can't believe I'm going to say this. It's not, it's, the, the equipment switcher in Halo Infinite isn't as bad, because it's a lot easier to just press right on the D-pad and press down on the threat sensor, assuming it works properly. But it's still kind of the same thing, where it's hard to do that while there's a million other things get happening all around you. And then, aiming-wise, I don't like the artificial swaying that is placed on the gun that you can upgrade to get rid of, which is bullshit. That's literally the same thing as a Sonic and the Secret Rings get like better controls upgrade you can get or whatever the hell it's called so um and then the final section was just awful 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 way too many enemies that still do insane amounts of damage despite the fact that they are you're on very light difficult I, I turned it down to very light at the end there and still unloading a full clip of assault rifle and into any of them just didn't do anything so yeah um i did not enjoy a vast majority of Okay, that's an exaggeration. I didn't enjoy a decent chunk of the gameplay in The Last of Us. But, that's not to say there's nothing good there, because for a, a, a good chunk of the non-clicker stealth sections and the non-clicker combat sections were actually pretty fun. I actually liked that uh, a lot. The, the, I was impressed with the AI of the, of the enemies, because, like, so obviously there were instances where I would be right in front of an enemy and they wouldn't see me, but that's because I turned it down to light difficulty, so I'm willing to let that slide. But in terms of their movement around the battlefield and how they would how they would organize their path movement and how they would communicate with each other to, to surround you on all sides, that was really impressive stuff. In fact, I'd actually, I'd actually say it's especially impressive, even though the difficulty was so low, that they were still that proficient with how they were moving. I think that's really impressive. So points to that. And... Yeah, I, I generally, I had fun with a lot of the encounters in this game. It's just, it, it's hard to focus on that when there's also so much crap that gets weighed down. Especially, I also don't like, at the very end, everything gameplay-wise at the end of the game was crap. I didn't like the, the final push through the hospital to rescue Ellie because of how horrifically all that was balanced. But I also didn't like the final clicker assault because it completely threw off the pacing. You have this really gut-wrenchingly intense scene in the snow town. And then you have a more somber walk to the hospital after that point. But then you just destroy all of that by sho shoving in a balls-to-the-walls clicker bloater section that destroys the pacing of the, of the scene entirely. I don't know what they were thinking with that. So, yeah, gameplay, there's... It actually kind of makes me excited, because the one thing I've heard, putting aside any discussion of the story, the one thing I've consistently heard is that The Last of Us 2's gameplay is, a, is an improvement over the original. So I'm like, okay, that's good. That's very good, because there, there is room for improvement here. There is a lot of room for improvement in the gameplay of The Last of Us. It's not terrible. It's not, like, unplayable. It's just there's a lot, there's a, it's a lot of things. I, I don't want to say death by a thousand cuts, because there, there are some things that are significant. But it's, it's also not, like, b completely broken mechanics, so it's... If I have to give gameplay, the gameplay of this game, a rating, I'd probably go for like a 5 or a 6 out of 10 overall. So there's a lot of room for improvement to be had there. 
but obviously the highlight is the story. The story, I really didn't expect that I would get that emotionally invested, and I'm still not, like, super into the story. Like, I wouldn't put, I currently wouldn't put Joel or Ellie among my favorite characters of all time, or anything like that. But, I was still, and by the end, I was really invested in what was going on, I was really, I cared a lot about the characters. The, 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 the scene in the, the fire, the, the, in the snow town where David was going bananas, might, was the peak of my investment. Because the thing is, like I said, I already knew what was going to happen at the end of the game, so that I was just like, yeah, this is the part where Joel rescues Ellie. But the thing with David, I did not know any of that was going to happen. So that was completely taken by surprise. And I was on the edge of my seat the whole way through. So it's, and it's, like I said previously, it's, it's good that it, it's, it, it's not, like, it's not, you don't, you don't immediately meet Ellie and you're like, hi. And, or she, she where she's like, hi. And then you're like, oh, you're adorable. We're going to be best friends forever. It's more, a more progressive thing because it's, it's about whittling down Joel as a character the same way that you are. There's very great connection between the player character and you as the player with the rate at which it, they start chipping away at Joel's hardened exterior and they start zeroing in on the, the, the core emotional beats that thrust their way through the story. It's really great stuff there. And just really, I, I'm, no, I'm normally not a fan of things where it's, it feels overly cinematic. Like, even in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, towards the beginning of the game, and a couple instances throughout the rest of the game, there's some instances that feel very on rails, and it's just like, wow, look at all the cool blockbuster cinematic explosions happening all around you, and I'm like, yeah, 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 cool, cool, but like, can we get back to the actual, the, 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 the gameplay where we fight people? Can we do that, please? But, I think that it worked a lot better for this game with how seamlessly it transitioned from the gameplay to the cinematics and back and forth. Like, for one example coming to mind being when we were in Snowtown, and the we were getting raided by David's people, and we quickly shifted from the cutscene to the horseback riding to the combat, and how how it was a nice continuous flow, and it didn't feel it didn't feel like stop and start gameplay story gameplay story. It felt like one seamless experience the whole way through. I like that a lot. So yeah, overall, I th there's a lot of great things to be had in the story. I ended up caring about pretty much all the characters, even Tess's death. Even though we didn't know her very long, that was the first moment where I was like, damn, you, you guys know how to write gripping emotional dialogue. Uh, but, <sighs> I, I've heard a lot of people say that The Last of Us is like a masterpiece. And even the people working on the TV show said that it's the greatest story ever told in video games, which... On the one hand, I'm glad they think that, because that means they respect the source material... And they want to treat it well for the TV show. Which I can't say for every video game adaptation. But on the other hand, no. It's not the greatest story ever told in video games. It's... It's, it's not even like there's any blatant inconsistencies. Well, okay, there's a couple. There's... Joel has some pretty thick plot armor. The best example I can think of is that... When, the, when, we, when we went on the nighttime run with Henry and Sam... After they're like, here, come with us to the tower, we'll meet up with our friends. And we, we, we traveled under the cover of night, and we had that scene where Henry uh, left us to die, and Ellie dropped down and said, I'm sticking with you. And then we, we were trying to open the garage door, and despite the tank being a millimeter away from us, still was incapable of shooting us to save their lives, despite how laser accurate they were the previous episode during gameplay. So, stuff like that. Anytime... I don't understand this game's obsession with cutting away from major game-changing events and then just being, like, acting like it's totally normal. Two examples of that being when Joel was drowning in the river and got slammed against the rock. Magically, Henry and Sam somehow managed to rescue him and Ellie from the raging river. Don't ask me how that happened. We're not going to show you. We're just going to cut to them on the beach, waking up like everything's totally fine. There's, and then of course, there's Joel falling unconscious and getting punctured, or getting skewered by the, the turn about samurai spike and then uh, he falls unconscious after him and ellie escape the, the the college and then we cut to winter and she's somehow managed to get him to some shack in the in the granite state snowy winter wonderland he's fine he's getting stitched up she did all this i guess and ever i 
I don't get it. I don't I don't get that and I really don't get some things were really weirdly paced with like Henry and Sam's death. The pacing of the death itself was great. That scene was really good stuff. But then immediately afterwards, we get chucked into the back into gameplay and it's just us like bicker or quipping with Ellie as if we didn't just watch Hen Sam get turned into and infected and die and then Henry kill himself. It's that's that's weird. And then there's the whole second act breakup thing where Ellie runs into the woods and Joel Ellie's like, Yeah, you wanted to get rid of me. And then Joel's like, I'm not your dad, you're not my daughter, and we're going our separate ways. And then literally the next time we have a conversation with anybody, the next time we're out of gameplay and into a cutscene, it's take care of yourself, Tommy. We're going to Colorado. And they're just like, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, but, what, but didn't you just, how did we, but it did, uh, uh, mm, okay. Feels like I might have rushed that a little bit, but. Yeah, so. Oh, and of course, there's, there's also some contrivances that really annoyed me. Some of them I can forgive, like them finding, well, I don't know, them, them accidentally stumbling into a car in the garage is still a little, like, really? Of, of all places you could have hit it out, it was there of all places. But the one that really annoyed me, like really, really annoyed me, was in winter time when Ellie was hunting the stupid deer, which was a very fun gameplay sequence. She she shoots the deer with two arrows, neither of which kill it, I guess. And the deer literally runs into David's town. It, it's you could you could honestly convince me that the deer was just David's pet, and it, and he was sent out there specifically to lure Ellie back because it is unbelievably convenient that she ended up. What, uh, in that town. So, um, yeah, in conclusion, story good. Story, no, I, I don't know that I'd call it, I'd, I'd probably give the game's story like a 7, like a 7 out of 10 overall, I think is, f maybe a 7.5, because there's, there's a lot of really powerful scenes, it's just there's also a lot of really questionable decisions that they made with the writing that I'm not fully on board with. Oh, and I guess I'm going to talk about the ending. So, yeah, the, the ending is the one thing about this game that I knew going into it, which is probably why it's also the bit I was least moved by, I guess, because I knew it was coming. But I was still impressed by it, because now, because going into it, I was like, is it the best idea to to kill all the hospital guys to rescue El? Like, I get... I probably I, I would have understood it from a character perspective because that's Joel's character. Like Joel is that something Joel would do emotionally? He's connected to Ellie at that point. But step back from that and you look at the logic of it. I was going and thinking, would this is this the best course of action? And now I can say that yes, it is because of all the all of everything I talked about today about the practicality of creating dis creating and distributing this vaccine and how that wouldn't really change anything in the grand scheme of things because of all the, everything that's wrong with the world and how how minimalistic the clickers are in the grand scheme of things, so... Yeah, I am... I am impressed with how this game was written. Specifically that ending, I was... I came away thinking like, yep, everyone's doing what they should do, this all makes complete sense. Any questions I had previously about the, the logistics of the vaccine and the fireflies have all been answered, and... Yeah. We're all set. I am... I am following along perfectly. And I guess that's a wrap on The Last of Us. Well, I guess one thing I will say, I'm really excited to watch the TV show now. Because, for those who don't know, there's two reasons why I was I even decided to do this at all. Reason one is because I wanted to check out The Last of Us 2, because I had heard from so many people how polarizing it was, and I wanted to see for myself just, like, what what, what all the fuss is about. But the other reason that's more more timely is that The Last of Us show is happening right now. I think actually at the time this video comes out, the final episode released last Sunday, so... Yeah, I wanted to play the game first to see what it was like, and then check out the TV show, and kind of compare and contrast. And I'm really excited to do that now, because... I think, I, I wonder if I would have enjoyed the story anymore if it wasn't surrounded by all the gameplay. Because I think some... Like, you, some of the things might have been able to be avoided if you structure it. It, it almost feels like, honestly, they just wanted to make a TV show, and they made a game instead. Because, like, all the a lot of the gameplay stuff just feels like it's there to be, say, hey, we have a video game now, when it, it feels like the story would work so much better as just a standard television show, which is 
why I'm excited to watch the show. I can enjoy the story without all the surrounding baggage. So, we'll see how that turns out. You probably won't hear my thoughts on it. I mean, if, you, if you're on my Discord server, then you'll I'll probably talk about the show when I start watching it. But I probably won't get my updated thoughts on the show as I play through The Last of Us 2. Because, one, I think I'll have a lot to say about The Last of Us 2. Whether I love it or hate it, I'll have a lot to say. And two, I just don't think it's, it'll be that relevant because season two of the show isn't out yet. Because obviously season one just finished at the time you're watching this. But yeah, it's, uh... I believe that's all I had to say. So, like, seven out of ten... Maybe 7.5 out of 10. I'll, I'll go 7.5. I'll go 7.5 out of 10 story. 5.5 out of 10 gameplay. So in totality, that's like a 6.5 out of 10 overall. Because add those together, divided by tw uh, divide by 20, you get like about 65. Or you get, you get 0.65, so 65%, 6.5. I think 6.5 is a pretty fair score for my experience of this game. I enjoyed a lot of it. I didn't like a lot of it. I think that averages out pretty nicely. So, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on The Last of Us Part 1. And the, the credits are somehow still going, so I, I I normally don't like to do this. I normally like to talk through the whole credits, and then by the time I'm done talking, the credits have long since concluded. But evidently, a lot of people worked on this game, so the credits are still going. I guess one thing I can say is that when this game first came out... Oh, by the way, I looked at the date. came out June of 2013. didn't come out in October, so my theory as to the calendar there was incorrect. When this, well, when this game came out, it was released as just The Last of Us, not The Last of Us Part 1. That was retroactively added on to the PS5 remake, because obviously Last of Us Part 2 is called Last of Us Part 2. But that tells me that when they made the first game, they had no intentions of making a sequel. Or if they did, like if they thought they could get a sequel, they certainly didn't have any specifics planned out. Because obviously they would have probably just said... Like, even when IT Chapter 1 came out, it said IT Chapter 1. Now, they didn't say that in the title of the movie, because, well, that probably wouldn't have gone over well with people. But at the end of the movie, when the credits start rolling, it does say this was IT Chapter 1. And then, because they knew, of course, maybe that, that's a bit of a different story, because obviously that's adapting a game. Sorry, adapting a book. So the story was already written, so they knew in advance that they had to adapt this whole book. And they felt it best to be done over the course of two movies, which was a good idea, even if part two kind of sucked, but that's a tough for a different day. So if they really had plans to do that, I feel like they would have done something like that here. As opposed to just calling it Last of Us and then retroactively adding part one. I, th I think the fact that they retroactively added part one... For the PSR remake, kind of speaks to their intentions with this. That's kind of slimy. I don't know. But, uh... Yep. That's that's The Last of Us Part 1. Or The Last of Us, if you will. Is that is that the credits? Or is there a post credit? Okay, no post credit scene. You've unlocked New Game Plus in speedrun mode. Ah, uh, yes. The, the vibrant speedrunning community of The Last of Us. Lovely. Can't wait to try that again. Not. So that's the main game, but of course we're not done yet. We do still have the Left Behind DLC, which uh, I believe it says takes it's set during the events of The Last of Us. I think it's also kind of a prequel story, so yeah, I definitely want to check that out before we move on to The Last of Us Part 2. I don't know if I'll start it up, well actually I guess, I, I don't know if I'll start it up this week or if I'll do it. I might take tomorrow off. And I'll come back next week for the Left Behind just to give myself a break from The Last of Us. But uh, yeah, we're not not quite done yet. We do still have Left Behind, and then we will move on to The Last of Us Part Two. But that will be it for this LP. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching me play through this game, even though I was very annoyed at it in some instances. Let me know what you think about the story, about the ending, about Joel's choice, and about the gameplay. I'm really curious to see if I'm the odd one out in this game, or if, like, does the rest of the world love? The Last of Us gameplay, or am I am I with the majority and that people also think it's kind of eh, kind of iffy around the kind of rough around the edges? I don't know. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. Hope to catch you all soon for whatever it is you decide to watch next. Goodbye.